That stinked. We didn't want to go home. You hold your head high and stick your chest out. Because you, you, you deserve to be here. You represent yourself well on this stage. You represent our program, our city, university. You represent it in first class manner the whole year. And I know I speak for our coaches. I can't be more proud of you. A basketball season is a journey, and as sudden as they end, a new endeavor is just around the corner. Each year is different. Even though there were plenty of familiar faces in the practice gym, there were a few new, and with that, new expectations. So focus kind of on a day-to-day -day thing. Um, we have big aspirations for this season, but we're trying not to look too far ahead and just kind of focus on, on today, the present. In the heat of an Iowa summer, that November tip-off seems so far away. So to break up the routine, the Bulldogs slide away from the gym. It's about game time. It is good there. Pretty confident, you know, all the food was gone, but when it's all said and done, you know, Coach has a bunch of years on us, man, and you know, we call him Coach for a reason, he's the guru, man, so. I control all the conditioning, it was an easy victory. There are breaks from basketball, but you can't take the competitor out of the player. team out there you could tell who could who used to play baseball and who never played baseball ever in their lives uh, one guy who had a terrible swing was Bryce his swing was really <laughs> Drake University wants to be known as Des Moines hometown team the Bulldogs reinforced that point by putting a court on Court Avenue and holding a hoops fast. Thank God we made it. Yeah. I'm putting on. I'm putting on. Came out the struggle. struggle, struggle. I made it home. Mm, we'll never fold even when it's running long. Running low. Shout out to you. Couldn't make it on my own. So we say thank God we made it. I've been on the grind for some time now. Facts. Hit a couple walls, that's a timeout. <laughs> Grateful for the ups and the downs now. Keep moving on, yeah. Keep moving on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, started off with the local shows, now it's Google Maps. Welcome everybody. It's, uh, it's good to be back uh, in person and uh, it's an exciting time of year for us. You know, coming off uh, an NCAA tournament berth last year uh, and having a majority of our, our team back, uh, it's, it's been an exciting off season. We have a lot of momentum right now around the community. What has made this program so successful? Yeah, like we always say, yeah, just the group of guys we got, everybody caring about each other, everybody ready to go for war with each other, and just having a chip on our shoulder um, that's been that way since we got here. Uh, and we never really got away from that, and the confidence Coach DeVries puts in us and the coaching staff we have uh, is pretty much the same. It's the same culture. We got a lot of the same guys running the show, so uh, everything's been, it's been great since we got here. Uh, I just want to enjoy each game. Um, you know, we want to enjoy each game and just have fun, and I think uh, the rest will take care of itself. Welcome in, Bulldog fans. A new season of Drake Hoops is upon us. Year four under head coach Darren DeVries, and we don't know what's to come over the next four months, but we're excited to get this thing started. Let's go compete together, and let's go chase down another ring start. Now 
we're down to 30. So for those 30 nights plus the postseason, you make sure you and your team is locked in and you're not gonna let anything take away from your, your experience this year. Every season has its you know ups and downs, and it's a different process every year. So that's the fun part of coaching: is, is no season's ever the same, no game's ever the same. So every day you start over, um, you know, with trying to build on what you did the previous day. The Bulldogs drop the first meeting with the Belmont Bruins, 74-69. 80-71 is the final. Bulldogs suffer their second loss of the season and the second in as many days. It is ball game over and a disappointing weekend for the Drake Bulldogs come to a close. North Texas wins it 57-54. Bulldogs go 0-3 at this ESPN Events Invitational. Now three and three on the season. Well, the message is long season, you know. Yep. Um, we got some things we can get better at, clean up. Uh, you know, these close games are close games. We're, you're, when you're talking about fixing things, it's like, it's, it's a lot of times it's one or two possessions. Identity is gritty, tough, relentless. We gotta get back to playing that way with a little swagger. Just relentless for 40 minutes. Try and catch up with us. Come on, Tank Sutterstep goes and throws it down with two hands. The hesitation, then the highlight. It's 59-51. Dogs get back into the win column and comes at a key time in the standalone conference game. The Bulldogs cross the Missouri River into Omaha for a homecoming of sorts for the DeVries family and Io Akinwale. Follow the closeout. It's over to Tucker. Tucker with a long three, and it's down. Tucker DeVries with his fourth. DJ Wilkins has the basketball at the right wing. He dribbles to his left, throws it to Tucker DeVries with the catch and shoot three, and it spins around and down, and the dogs up by one. We got a huge game. We're going to we're going to Atlanta. We're going to play Clemson, an ACC team. Okay, but we got we got to get our minds right before tomorrow for practice Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday we got to go be an ACC team down in Atlanta. Right? Of the family, my work two jobs just so we can have sandwiches. Anything good always came with some damages. I had to stick to the code like it's laminate. Hey, when we was down, I had to stay with a reeler. That basement was cold and we ain't have a heater. My actions speak louder than words from a speaker. The street taught me things I couldn't learn from a teacher. I had to hold up 11 years old. I only go off the things that you show. All of my circle been solid as gold. Now was a real one, make God rest his soul. I'ma stay down when I pledge my allegiance. I made a choice to step back for a season. I made a choice to just fight on my demons. It's not that you. Hate it's just so, way to fight back, right? I mean, we're down nine, down eleven, down nine, down eleven. Couldn't get up, couldn't get over the hump, but you guys stayed with it. You got us to overtime, right? Because if, if we'll bring during those stretches, we have stretches of you know three, four, five minutes where it's like we're so good. <laughs> I mean, we are so good, right? We just got to extend those out a little bit more, guys. I'm proud of you. We need to get back though. Get some rest here in these next couple days, and we'll get back to work on uh, Tuesday. All right, all right. Bring it. Man.
Good fight, good fight. Here we go, one, Bend. two, all in. DeVries pulls down the board. And what the Bulldogs have done here at the McLeod Center is simply unreal. Down by 10 with 3.37 to play. Get a shot by Roman Penn with seven seconds to go to tie the game, send it into overtime. Gritty, gutty, tough, all of those words plus some. Bulldogs get a win here in the McLeod Center, 82-74. Road Dogs are back home for a showdown between the Valley's top two teams. Good afternoon, Bulldog fans. Welcome back to the NAB Center. I'm Michael Admire, Paul Dorfeld. A pick six the other way, DeVries with the flush at the other end. Secures it, bounces it up in the air, buzzer goes off, and the Bulldogs have jumped into first place in the Missouri Valley Conference, 77-68. That was a team win, team win, because you prepared for it too. You prepared like a championship team. Two cornerstones of the Drake basketball program are hard work and toughness. That ideal was captured this year in an old blue hard hat. It's, it's been amazing. I, I, you know, I'll be walking on campus and people will either be batting their head or, or be saying something about the hard hats. And um, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I, I, I love how the students and the faculty and, and the university has has uh, encompassed that, and I mean, it's it's something I didn't imagine was going to happen this year, but I'm, I'm sure, surely glad it did. So. The two hottest teams in the Missouri Valley Conference are from the state of Iowa, and they go head to head today here in Des Moines. Pursuit of championships are not without challenges, but a turning point awaited the Bulldogs one night in Peoria, Illinois. As a team, we have to change. Not drastically, but we have to change our mindset. When everybody's bought in, when everybody's bought in, we're great. We win when we share it, we move it, we don't care who scores, who gets it. The only thing we care about is winning. Some of you have put a lot of time and effort into getting us to this point where we're relevant, people talk about us. They quit talking about you when you have four assists. You know why? Because you're gonna lose. They're gonna quit talking about you. There'll be a new story, a new team. <laughs> To Tramiel, and Tramiel with a tomahawk dunk, right-handed slam. And it's Bulldog basketball from the banks of Lake Michigan. Good evening, Drake fans. Welcome to Gentile Arena. The Dogs haven't won here since before any of the Bulldog players were born, 1995. And this could be it between these two teams with Loyola moving to the A-10 after this season. This is our last chance to send them all to the fight. from the left wing, it's down. The Bulldogs red hot from beyond the arc. Three of four, it's 13-5 Drake. Wilkins, a right corner three, and Wilkins triples it up from downtown. Four threes in the first four and a half minutes and a timeout by Braden Norris and Drew Valentine. The dogs come out on fire up by 11, it's 16 to five. to DeVries, DeVries pumps, steps into a three from the left wing, and it's down. The freshman DeVries with a big shot, 60 seconds to play. 
78-71. Norris loses the basketball. It's still loose. Pin underneath it. Pin gets rid of it to Sturts. Sturts, it's three on two. Sturts peels away with 27 seconds on the shot clock. He is fouled by Ahir Ugwa. Oh man, what a shot by Tucker DeVries. A little pump. Step in, knock down. It's a seven point game. backs off. 83-76 will be the final here at Gentile Arena. And we don't know what will happen at Arch Madness, but Drake has taken the final two regular season matchups of Loyola's Missouri Valley Conference tenure, 83-76. They're an incredible group, and they've all gotten here at different parts during their college career, but awesome group of guys. And, and everybody's been able to fit you know, and, to be honest, just play their role like better than anybody, anything you could have expected from a guy that was a starter at one time to now not even playing, but is the best teammate you could ever ask for, to a guy that started um, for another team playing 30 minutes a night to now playing anywhere from you know, 7 to 15 minutes a night to a guy that's starting, to another guy that's you know, starting, had injuries and things. And they've all had to go through so much um, from an individual standpoint, personal standpoint, um, but yet they never ever uh, took anything away from the team. They're gonna be incredible in whatever they decide to do uh, when they're done playing here. I'm, I'm thankful I've got the chance to, to, to be a part of it uh, you know, for one to two to four years uh, on each of these guys and got to be a small glimpse of, uh, or a small portion of, of their lives. Growing up with Roman from seventh grade, DJ, Tank, Jonah, I mean, it just, I mean, you don't get this too much. Guys from a small area back at home get to play Division one basketball, and then just grinding his way up. I mean, it's, it's the stuff you dream about, and it was just very emotional. I feel um, good for our seniors that they're able to win their, their last home game here, and um, you know, so thankful for what those guys have have done for us, um, you know, over the years in the program. The senior day win gave Drake a five-game winning streak, the longest of the season. And now attention turned to St. Louis, Missouri, for Arch Madness. And it's, uh, uh, it's the best time of year. It's the most exciting, exhilarating. Uh, emotions are all over the map on, on this one. And only one team really, really gets to, to celebrate it at the end. And that's, uh, that's what everybody's trying to go down there and do. The Bulldogs arrived early in St. Louis. For the players, it was a time to prepare to win three games in three days. They got their game ready and practice gyms around the area and got their mind prepared with another type of practice. You know, I think yoga is really good in that, being present. Um, I love yoga, it's, it's really good. Uh, Coach Rhino has a good yoga sessions for, for us in the mornings. So I think we just gotta keep going with that. While players cleared their thoughts, it was hard to ignore the noise. Yeah! Pack of Bulldogs took over St. Louis in numbers Drake fans had not experienced in more than a decade. Yeah, the fan base is growing. I think that's what it says. I mean, we have saw it in our home games this year. The crowds continue to grow and, and get bigger and more enthusiastic. Uh, I think people have, have, that have gone down to St. Louis and they've had a great time, they've come back and told other people, and now more people are going. Um, for it, the, not just the basketball, just the camaraderie of a, a bunch of Bulldog fans going down there and hanging out and having fun and, and getting to take in some, some really good basketball and exciting basketball. So I, I love the direction that, that it's going. Again, we want to continue to grow it, uh, but it's really exciting from, from our standpoint. Yeah, it, it's amazing how Drake fans have taken over St. Louis. I can remember my first year where we seemed like we had dozens of fans. We looked at some of the other schools and, gosh, how can we get to that point? And to see how it's grown over the past few years and to see this turnout here today and this weekend, uh, it's just incredible. I mean, it's something that I thought we could get to. I wasn't sure we could get there this fast. Uh, but it's amazing to see how much blue has taken over St. Louis. A new season begins today in St. Louis. Drake entering the Missouri Valley Tournament as the three seed. And guys, now it's wrapped up one more time. One more time for conference tournaments like this. It's got to be everything. It's, it's, it's win or go home right now. But don't play scared of the moment. Hey, this moment's yours. We just got to be us.
we gotta want it more than them. Let's go make this first so up. And he does out wide to Tucker, who skies up, catches it now, drives. Here's a lot to think. Oh. oh boy. What a play. Tucker to tank for two. Away, off balance jumper is good. What a shot! I don't know how it went down, but it did. DeVries has 13 late in the shot clock. He's money at 60 46. This has to be us that takes this lead from 2 to 10. Okay, let's not play from behind this half. Let's not let them set the tempo. Okay, let's dictate how this half is going to go. 20 minutes, let's go. Get the show. Come on, let's go. I'm going to shoot. Pin. We'll drive. Loses a man, flips up with the right hand, it's good. Roman Penn, 11 points. He didn't get to play in this tournament last year. There have been some tight matchups against Southern. It was not tight here today. The Bulldogs knock off Southern Illinois, 65-52 dogs to the semifinals. Tonight, tonight, tonight is about these 40 minutes. We're not going to go away. Do whatever it takes to get this game done so we can advance to more, right? Welcome into semifinal Saturday from Arch Madness and a little deja vu as Drake and Missouri State play for a spot in the title game in back-to-back -back seasons. Once again, Loyola awaits the winner for this one. Good evening, Bulldog fans. We're back in St. Louis. Man, bounces the start, starts floater in the paint. Is good. from straight away, and it's down. Roman Penn from deep. He has two threes in this game, 12 points. Here's a left corner three. It's no good, but starts with the rebound. Out to DeVries, a right wing three by DeVries. Is down, the Bulldogs up by three. 77, 74, 121 to play. What a freshman ice in his veins. Now Prim at the rim, he lays it up and in. Missouri State up by one, 78-77. Bulldogs not calling a timeout. Here's Tucker across the timeline, four seconds. Now three, Tucker with the layup at the other end. He is fouled with 1.1 .1 second to play. Some boos raining down from the arena. Tucker stands at the line. His first one is good. Game's tied Ice. at 78. He'll have one more, and Dana Ford will use his final timeout. Tucker has the basketball to take the lead. Free throw is good. With 1.1 second to play, a timeout by Coach DeVries. Drake has taken the lead with Tucker DeVries, the freshman of the year in this conference, at the free throw line, 79. 78. All right, here's Prim to throw it in. 1.1 second play, Drake up by one. Prim fires it all the way down the court. DeVries is there. Play catches, turns around. His shot at the buzzer oh. is no good. Drake is going back to the championship. 79, 78. Young Tuck with 23 points. Eight for eight for the line and ice in his vein. And Drake will face Loyola in the championship game tomorrow at 1 p.m. So I like, you know, just proud of the guys, but the, I'd like to really, you know, say thank you to all the fans. I mean, the, the, the way this has grown uh, down here and, and even back in Des Moines in the Nap Center, but our crowd was incredible this weekend. You know, our send off, and then when you looked up tonight and you saw that, that whole big wave of blue up there, uh, and they're not just here, they're into the game. Like, it's passionate. Uh, you, you can feel the energy and enthusiasm, and, um, and that's what's most exciting for us uh, is the way 
uh, so many people from Des Moines in the area have supported this group and this program, and um, you know we're really, really thankful for that. And and hopefully we can continue to grow it. I, I think the fans are having a blast with it, and I know we are. And uh, that's um, that's what we wanted to, uh, you know, where we envision this growing, and hopefully it'll continue.